If you've been following my videos and courses, you know that I'm not a big fan of crash diets. Crash diets are diets that promise you to help lose multiple pounds per week or even several pounds per day. The reason I don't like these type of diets is simple. They overpromise and underdeliver. The problem is that they always involve a huge calorie deficit and usually have you eating nothing but one specific food for an extended period of time. This approach is a recipe for disaster and you're going to feel extremely hungry, lose most of your strength and just generally hate dieting. Plus, because of the cravings, you're always at risk of eating something that could lead to a huge binge which eliminates all your progress. Of course, even I cannot deny some of the advantages of losing fat as fast as possible. You see results faster in the mirror, you don't have to diet for as long, and you can get back to building muscle and getting stronger sooner. So this begs the question, is there a scientific way to crash diet? Can you lose fat as fast as possible without losing much muscle and without all the negative side effects of normal crash diets? The answer is yes, at least kind of. The only diet that qualifies as a good crash diet is called a protein sparing modified fast or PSMF. And it's what I will talk about in this lesson. Let me first explain the concept of a protein sparing modified fast. Protein sparing refers to the diet's main goal, which is to maintain muscle mass while losing fat as fast as possible. In other words, you're modifying a complete fast where you eat no calories at all by adding just enough protein to avoid muscle loss. It's been around since the 1970s, where doctors began researching the diet as a way to help severely obese patients lose weight quickly. Originally, the diet consisted of two phases. The first intensive phase, which lasts four to six months and involves severely limiting calories, and the second refeeding phase, which lasts six to eight weeks, during which calories are gradually increased back to a more regular level. However, like I said before, this diet was designed for severely obese people, not the average person. Someone with a body fat percentage of 40% or above has a lot more energy reserves than someone with a body fat percentage of 20 or even 15%. That means for obese people, their body can compensate the larger calorie deficit for a longer time. If you want to use the PSMF as a lifestyle diet to test the effects of crash dieting on your body, you will not follow it for a few months. Instead, you will follow this diet only for a few days up to two weeks. Now, this sounds like a very short time, but trust me, it will suck nonetheless. During this time, you're not allowed to eat any of the following. High calorie or high carb vegetables or other plants like avocados, beans, potatoes, tomatoes, carrots and the like, fruit of any kind, nuts, seeds, or chocolate, juice or other calorie-containing beverages, grains, cereals, and other high-carb foods, and any kind of fast food or sweets. You don't get to eat cheat meals either. Your total daily calories should be restricted to around 30% of your maintenance level. So if you normally eat 2,500 calories, you can only eat a little over 800 calories while following a PSMF. Of those calories, the majority should come from lean protein, like chicken breast, or lean beef, along with about 100 calories of low-calorie veggies like zucchini, squash, broccoli, or leafy greens. If at this point you're thinking that this diet sounds very drastic, that's because it is. A PSMF is definitely not a beginner-friendly diet and should only be tried by people who know what they're doing. Here are some criteria that I believe you should meet before trying it. You should be over 15% body fat percentage for men or over 25% body fat for women. That's because otherwise your body doesn't have enough energy reserves for this crash diet. The only exception to this rule that I can think of are athletes who need to make weight for a competition. Also, this shouldn't be your first diet, simply because it's too drastic and not sustainable for longer periods of time. And you should know how your body reacts to different levels of food intake, and you should have no history of yo-yo dieting, eating disorders, or binge eating. If this applies to you and you're still motivated to give the PSMF a go, here's what you should do. Step 1. Eat 1-2 one to two grams of protein per pound of lean body mass. Like I explained before, the idea of this diet is to provide just enough protein to prevent muscle loss and no more. To do that, you should scale your protein intake based on your lean body mass, so anything that isn't fat in your body. The more lean body mass you have, 
the more protein you'll need to eat to avoid losing it. Obviously, I also recommend you lift weights during this diet as it's the best way to avoid muscle loss when cutting calories. So to start your diet, you need at least a general estimate of your current body fat level. With that in mind, here are the ideal protein intakes for your body fat level. For example, let's say you are a 220 pound man with 20% body fat. Here's how you'd find your lean body mass. You take 220 times it by 0.8 to get 176 pounds of lean body mass. Since you have 20% body fat, you will want to eat 1.5 grams of protein per pound of lean body mass. Next, you would multiply your lean body mass by 1.5. So 176 times 1.5 equals 264. What that means is that you want to eat 264 grams of protein per day while on a protein sparring modified fast. This is quite a bit of protein, of course, but remember that you will be eating almost nothing else. This brings me to step two, eat some low calorie vegetables. The original PSMF was designed only with protein in mind, but eating some vegetables makes it a lot easier. I recommend you get around 100 calories of the following. Zucchini, broccoli, cauliflower, squash, leafy greens, kale, collard greens, asparagus, cabbage, pickles, or cucumbers. That way you can chew on something and the fiber helps with your digestion. And that's pretty much it. The complete PSMF protocol if you want to give science-based crash dieting a try. Like I said before, this is an extreme diet and you don't need it to lose weight. But if you're curious, you now know how to do it correctly.